Hi everyone, this is Seth from Coming Out Tarot. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Seth and I run Coming Out Tarot. You can find out more about me by clicking on the little peri dude down there. Hey, Celestial. <coughs> and going, excuse me, coming to, going to comingouttarot.com. Hey, Brie Brenner. Thanks, Celestial. How are you? Hey, Jocelyn and Sorazzo. How is everyone? Happy Tuesday. Oh no, it's Monday. Happy Monday. We have been back after vacation. Back to work today. It's 90 degrees in Chicago. It's pretty warm. It's been cold and all of a sudden it's nice and warm. Hey, Starlight. How are you? Hey, I got nine lives. How is everybody? What's going on? Make sure and invite some folks so we can get a full room in here. Tired? How come? Hey, Muhammad. David, hi, how are you? Hey, Julio, LFC, hi. Hey, Mythical Andy. Fun sized. I like that name. Hey, Joker, how are you? How's everybody doing? So, uh, if you haven't been here before, my name's Seth. I run comingouttarot.com. You can find out more about me at comingouttarot.com. Oh, I get that. My body gets worn out when I drive. Hey, Skinoski. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, so if you haven't been here before, thanks for being here. You can always find out more about me at Coming Out Tarot. I like to do tarot readings for people that help you confirm where you are and figure out the steps to where you want to be. That's the way that I love to use tarot. What I uh, have to offer tonight are two ways to get a reading. Uh, one, there's always a paid way to get a reading. It's just using the PayPal link that you see down there. You copy it into your browser and drop $10 in the kitty and I'll pull two cards for you and spend about 10 minutes on your question. Or uh, we'll do, thanks Celestial, uh, we'll do a uh, lottery system. And the lottery system, basically you get an option uh, to guess uh, either a number or an emoji, depending on how I do it. Hey, Betula. And uh, whoever guesses that, whatever that thing is, uh, gets a one card free reading. So it's not the same as the, the two cards. Hey, Vinay. It's not the same as the two cards where you get a little more in-depth for about 10 minutes, uh, but it is one card uh, free reading based on a lottery system. Hey, when I... I don't even know how to say that. Hey, YNKs. Uh, so, uh, if anyone's interested in the uh, $10 option, just use that link, coming out tarot, excuse me, paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10. And uh, I will do a lottery system in just a second for the one card free reading. Is there anybody here who hasn't been here before? Throw up a, like a, a hey or a heart or a hey snow bunny. Hey Ramzan. How are you? To, it's the sun is in just the right place, and my winter Irishness is just enough to be completely white. Uh, my hair is naturally gray. I think all of those, all of those gray things that people can buy and put in their hair, I it's it's nuts to me. I'm like, really? You want to do all that? My hair's been going gray since I was 18. Thank you. All right, folks, so let's, uh, let's start with the lottery system. Uh, if you're new here, there's always, uh, you can, there's two ways to get a reading. Lottery system, which is one card free reading. Thanks, nobody. And uh, $10 with the paypal.me link. It's paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10. Drop $10 in the kitty. And I will pull two cards for you and spend about 10 minutes on your question. Or uh, we'll do uh, one card on the lottery system. Thanks, Starlight. Thank you, Snow Bunny. 
So, uh, let's start with the lottery system. If you're interested in having the one card free reading, what I'm going to do is pull a card out of the deck and you can guess from 0 to 21 and based on that, uh, whoever guesses the number that I draw is going to get the one card free reading. Oh, thank you. I think coin. I didn't see it. Uh, so, I'm going to draw my card. All right. Hey, QWERTY. So, whoever, after I say go, after I say go, whoever guesses this number gets a one card free reading. You can always jump the line by doing the paypal.me slash coming out terror slash 10 and getting a two card reading for $10. So, I'm going to start with the lottery. Um, no, but I have a husband. So, everybody, whoever guesses this number first gets the one card free reading. Uh, go. Hey, X man. Starlight, you got it. It's a six. That was a fast one. Hey, Marty. Okay, Starlight. Husband. What kind of question do you have for me, Starlight? Yes, that's why I have a husband. Hey, Claire Queen. <laughs> hey, my nerdy. My nerdy, I think. <laughs> right, Jocelyn? What does your love life look like? All right, well, let's narrow this down real quick since it's one card. Do you have, uh, are you in a relationship today? Or are you looking for a relationship? Uh, what's the, you're single, so you're, uh, you're in the process of looking for a relationship today, all right? How about if we pull a card to see what kind of action you can take to, uh, to find that relationship you're looking for. How does that sound? Hey, big man. Okay. Okay, Starlight, the step that you can take in order to move forward in finding a relationship, you've got a little a bit of work to do right now. This is the Justice card. What's important to me in the card is actually the, the feather. When I was looking at this, she started writing. She actually started like scribbling down things. And when I see stuff like that, the action is really for you to make a list. It's a balanced list. The list is, this is what I'm really interested in in a person, and this is what I'm not interested in at all. So that you're able to weigh the next person that you meet that you might be interested in based on this list. So the, the next step for you is actually to start to write out what it is that you're interested in and what you're not interested in. Thank you, Snow Bunny. Have you done something like that before? Awesome. So that's your next step. Once you get that, then hopefully what will happen next is you'll start to get really clear on the people that you're meeting. Uh, great. Hey, Max Ryan. So get, get really specific with it this time. It needs to be a, if this exists, then this does not. If this exists, then this does not. It needs to be a very, very balanced list so you're real clear on what it is uh, that, you can, that you can focus on. Okay, thanks for being here everybody. If you uh, are looking to have a reading, there's two different ways to get a reading with me tonight. One, if you use the link that you saw uh, go up there from Celestial, you're welcome, thank you. If you use the link that Celestial threw up there, which is paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10, 
then that's the way that you can get a two card reading for $10. I'll spend about 10 minutes on your question. Sorry, I had an itch that was driving me nuts. Uh, then uh, the way you can get a free reading is hang out. We're going to do a lottery system in just a minute. I'll pull a card. You guess the number and whoever guesses the number first gets a one card free reading. Hey, Michael. Uh, so if you want to jump that lottery system and for sure get your reading, use that paypal.me link you see there slash coming out tarot slash 10 and uh, you will then get a one card free reading. Thank you, Michael. Uh, you're kind. Look at those hearts. Beautiful. Hey, Traz Nakato. Okay, so now you can be sorry, because that's just, that's not happening. Uh, so, is, before I move on to the lottery system, is anyone interested in the uh, $10, two card, about 10 minute reading option? Hey, Ceseri. Hey, Panji. If you're interested in that $10 option where you jump the lottery line and for sure get your reading for 10 minutes and two cards, all you gotta do is use paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10. And once I see that come through on my phone, I will use, uh, or I'll ask you for your question and we'll pull two cards for you. Anybody interested in that $10 option before we move on to the lottery? Hey, 60624. Hey, Megatronich. Hey, Fausto Frey. I think Fausto, I don't know what that is. Hi, Therese. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the the lottery option so you get an idea of what it's like. Uh, what I will do is pull a card and the after I say go, the first person to guess the number of the card between zero and 21 will get a one card free reading. Okay, is everybody ready? Go. Hey, Magical. Woo -woo. Hey, Don, how are you? Hi, Carpe, I didn't see you come in. Hey, Joe. Haven't seen it yet. Hey, Val. <laughs> Ooh, this one's taking a while. Doo, 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 doo. I feel like I need like you know music in the background. Hey, Kelt E. Hey, loves. How are you? We're doing a lottery system. Whoever guesses the right number between zero and twenty-one, it'll get a one-card free reading. We just did one for Starlight. Hey, Este. Wow, this one's a tough one today. I don't think I've ever gone this long without somebody somebody getting it yet. There it is, Jocelyn. Jocelyn got it. Jocelyn in the city. It's the nine, nine of swords. It's a pretty card. All right, hey Stellas. Woo -woo. All right, Jocelyn, what's your question? These cards are oversized. How are you? Hey, Jay, how about? Hey, Batasu, Batusu. Great, thank you. That was interesting that you both jumped on 12 at this beginning.
career? Should I stick to real estate or go with something else? Okay, let's, let's take a look at what the outcome is if you stick with real estate. Uh, okay, so I think if you stick with real estate, um, the card I drew for you is the Six of Cups. I think if you stick with real estate, really where you are at the moment is it feels good because it's comfortable. It feels good because it's safe. It feels good because it's what you're used to. Uh, there are probably good memories around working with real estate in that it, you've had moments where uh, you get that high because things just like you, you get what you're looking for and it feels good. Uh, but I feel like real estate is out of you're out of like a fish out of water, right? It's um, it's like you're you're misplaced, and I I feel like you're sinking. Like you're you're not soaring in real estate. You're sinking in real estate. It's it's um, it was it's more like you're. Settling? Settling. That's the word I want to use. You're settling in real estate. So uh, you can decide if it's the best place for you to be, but based on um, what I'm seeing, this is probably a confirmation of what you already know. I feel like um, real estate is settling. You're a bit of a fish out of water. There's probably a better place for you to be and where you'd rather be. Uh, it, it just feels comfortable and safe and settled. So uh, if that's not how you want to feel, then I would say it is time to move on from that career. If you are fine in that space, then stick it, stick with it, stay there. Hey, 210. I hope that was helpful. Hey, Don, you're welcome. How are you? I need to get like a like a, a table in here where I can, you know, have a sit up here instead of on the floor and be on a little table. But it, I think it would pull me over. I don't have a great place to do this where the internet is good and it's quiet. Uh, this is the quietest place where I get good internet in the house. Right? It'd be, it'd be better than sitting on the floor. <laughs> All right, friends. Uh, is anybody here new and doesn't know what's going on? If you are, say hi. Floor works. Yeah, until my butt falls asleep. Great, so I'm guessing you've all been here before, so you've probably seen that link Celestial threw up there. Thank you, Celestial. Uh, PayPal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10. If you drop $10 in the kitty, hey Matt Cycle, with that PayPal link, just drop it in your browser. Hey, Herity. If you uh, use that link, then I'll pull two cards for you. Spend about 10 minutes on your question. You'll get a more detailed uh, insight into your question. Or if you hang out for a minute, we'll do a lottery system just like we did for the last couple. Uh, and I'll pull one card free reading based on uh, the winner of the lottery system. So you get an idea of what it's like to have a reading with me. And then you can, you can decide if you want to drop that $10 in or if you want to get another reading that I have available over at comingouttarot.com slash shop. Uh, so if you want to see what other kind of readings I have available, you can go over to the shop. You can also find out more about me at comingouttarot.com on the about page and what kind of uh, things I have going on over there. Hey LaJoey. I'm glad that my, you know, 
often, how long have I been reading cards? Uh, about well, 20 plus years. So I, I started, I got my first deck when I was 10, but I didn't, and I kind of had them off and on until I was 20. And I would you know, work with them off and on. And then when I was 20, I really started working with them more frequently. And uh, I just recently had a birthday last week and I'm 42. So I've been working with them for about 25 to 30 years ish. But primarily I like it's 20 plus, you know, with a real dedicated focus in reading for other people. And then Periscope just made it easy to get in front of. A 40 second, 30 second was a little while ago, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, yeah, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Thanks, Carmen. Hey, Keanu. So real quick, just a reminder, if anybody's interested in that $10 option, all you gotta do is use paypal.me.com slash coming out tarot slash 10, and that'll um, get you a roughly a 10 minute reading with about with two cards to answer your question. Thanks, Celestial. Or uh, I will do a lottery system in just one second. And this lottery system I'm gonna do with an emoji which means you'll have to find an emoji that I proclaim. And when you first person to put the emoji up is going to get the free reading. Hey, Miko, Miko Cack. Okay. Thank you. I feel like it's an instinct like to see it because it, I can't put it up there. So I really appreciate you doing it. Thank you so much. Um, if anyone is interested, before we do this lottery system with the emojis, make sure you're following me. If you're not following me already, uh, you can catch a, either a live or a replay of... <laughs> of of the tarot intention of the day, which is a way for you to find out how you can approach your day with thoughtfulness, mindfulness, and awareness. I do it at seven o'clock central every morning. And uh, it, the one for today was actually pretty fascinating. You can still go catch it uh, if you watch my other, check out my other broadcast to see the tarot intention for the day. You can also find those on other channels with the same handle coming out tarot, like Facebook, um, t uh, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, I'll throw the card up so you can see it with a link to the YouTube channel. So check out the Tarot Intention of the Day. It's a great way to be mindful about your day and just uh, be more um, in tune with how you're moving the events that happen during the course of your day in the direction of the outcome you want so you're not just floating through your day. Hey, DJ. All right, let's do this lottery system. Uh, so... Lottery system this time is an emoji. I'm gonna name an emoji, and the first person to put that emoji up there is gonna get a one card free reading. Unless you'd like to jump the line, use the link you see there at Celestial Through Up, thank you, uh, paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10, and I'll pull two cards for you and spend about 10 minutes on your reading to answer your question. So the uh, emoji, oh, I know. The emoji today, right now, whoever gets this emoji first gets the one card free reading. The emoji is the martini glass. We'll find out how many of you are alcoholics. Carpe! <laughs> yeah, right? These are people who have the, the martini glass in their favorites or in their recently used items. Wow, that turned red when I scratched. Look at how it looks like I was attacked. All right, Carpe, what's your question? Thank you for those hearts. I love to see them take over that side of the bed that's just nasty looking. <laughs> Correct.
career? Will this new endeavor be successful? Let's see, what is your new endeavor? Can I zoom in, Matt? Making some terror bags and some other bags as of right now. Cool. Do you have a website already? If you do, go ahead and share it. Uh, okay, Carpe, uh, so I pulled a card to see what the outcome is of you starting this new business. The card that I pulled is the King of Discs. What's actually important to me about this card is the way that this pan figure is like just leaning against the tree. He's completely relaxed in his element doing what he's meant to be doing. Uh, so that's what I would impart to you about the outcome of this business. If you, st if you start this business, or if you've already started and continue, uh, I would say that it is the right place for you to be right now at this point, doing what you're doing, because uh, you are like large and in charge, basically. Uh, hey, my name's Cindy. Thanks for inviting folks. You're in that space that is, no problem, thanks, Starlight. You're in that space where you got everything covered. The thing is, thank you, I appreciate it. It's good to see you. Um, the thing is, uh, you're gonna have to work real hard at it. So uh, you, you're gonna have to work extremely hard in order to uh, be that relaxed. So crafty is good, for, awesome. Um, so what I would encourage you to do, uh, hang out and I'll explain in just a second. Uh, what I would encourage you to do is make sure you fully understand the business side of what it is that you have to do. Fully, fully understand. Because if you, if you don't get that right away, that's where the challenge is going to be. Uh, so it's, it's a twofold thing. One, make sure you got your shit together as a business, uh, like a, the CEO of your own business. Two. Once you've got your shit together, that's what allows you to be in your space. And actually, so three, and three is, this is the right place for you to be right now. You, you're meant to be in charge and working this business. So I would say it's, it's, the, it's the way to be. It's the way you should, it's where you should be right now. Right? <laughs> Makes sense, Carpe? Good. Make sure you dig into what that means. Make sure you, you like get real inquisitive about it. Find out about it so you understand 100% where you're going. And even if you don't get 100%, at least you'll be in a place where you've done some of your research and you'll have a jumping off point where you go, okay, this is what I want to try. This is what I need to do. And I'm going to go forward. If you haven't worked with um, a business coach or a mentor, uh, you might want to reach out to someone like Ethany at Ethany Tarot or the Tarot Lady. She's got some great business coaching options uh, where they can help you build this soul-centered business, which is different than running a, a business that other people might have, right? Because uh, you're doing something that's related to work that you're seeing here, which is a little different than running a candy store or a coffee shop, right? Hey, KKK. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, folks. So there's, uh, thanks for being here, Carpe. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to explain how to get uh, a reading in just a second. 
Cool. All right. So if you see that link up there, the Celestial threw up, thank you. The link uh, gives you an opportunity to get two card tarot reading at paypal.me paypal slash coming out tarot slash 10. Drop $10 in the kitty. I'll pull two cards for you and uh, spend about 10 minutes on your question and give you deeper insight than the lottery system for the free card reading. The free card reading will uh, come about via lottery system. So what I'll do is do a lottery system and I'll explain, or, or I'll actually start that in just a second. So lottery system is gonna be a card, I'll pull a card. When I say go, you guess a number between one and 21, excuse me, zero and 21. Once you guess the number, whoever guesses it first gets that one card free reading. Now, before I do that, if you're interested in the $10 two card reading and you want to jump that lottery system, excuse me, and get that get the reading you want today, make sure you go to paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10 in your browser and drop in just like that. Drop it in your browser and uh, I'll see it come through on my phone and then we'll bump you in front of the lottery system. But before I do the lottery, I want to give you a chance to do that. I'm going to explain one more thing. Uh, if you haven't follow me, please follow me so that you can catch the tarot intention of the day in the morning. Tarot intention of the day is a way for you to go through your day with mindfulness, thoughtfulness, and awareness so that you are moving the outcomes of your uh, events in the course of your day in the direction in which you'd like it to go. So that's the point of the intention of the day. Hey, how's it going, James? If you haven't seen those before, there's they go away after 24 hours. But you can find today's uh, in my broadcasts, or you can go check out my YouTube at Coming at Tarot and see the past ones there, uh, so you can uh, catch what those are like. Hey, live. I'm not sure what's going on with live. Uh, okay, so I'm not seeing anybody jump on the, hey, thanks, James. Anybody jump on the $10 reading option? So I'm gonna do another, hey, Mook, another uh, lottery system. This one is, I'm gonna pull a card, and when I say go, thanks, Mook, you are going to guess a number. Hey, okay. And the number, whoever guesses the number that I draw first, is gonna get a one card free reading. Hey Ahsoka, hey Ahsoka. Okay. Let me pull another one, speedy. Wait, I didn't say go yet. I can't just say that. Hey Rian. Okay, we're just about to do the lottery system for a one card free reading. I just drew the card, and all you have to do is guess a number between zero and 21, and whoever guesses the card I drew gets the free reading. Uh, so, go. Hey Alice, hey Marvin. Hey Candace, how are you? I have to look for, I was afraid I got it wrong. Hey, Zach. Zach, you got it. It's the nine, it's the hermit. Well, thank you, thanks for being here. Okay, <coughs> Zach. You get the one card free reading. What is your question? Yeah. You're Sasha? It looks like sack joy to me. <laughs> Your car's the hermit? Love relationship. So what's your question, sack Sasha? That's a wonderful statement. What's your question? Ooh, 
tarot wrap is happening. Ah. Hey, Gabby, how are you? Hang out real for a second and I'll explain in just a sec. Where is it heading? So you're in a relationship today and you're uh, curious about the outcome of the relationship? Okay. Welcome, thanks for being here. Okay. Hey, fly boy. the wheat for uh, okay so bye Gabby thanks for being here <clears throat> so the card that I pulled for you Sasha is the ace of discs uh, two things are important to me one that this is an ace and that it is a um, an earth card what that first part tells me that uh, the relationship is is new enough that it's still in this state of like uh, sexual intensity. Uh, it, and by intensity, I mean like not like lustful heat, but it is there is a like connection that you two have that is sexual chemistry, um, which is is never uh, like a bad place to start. Right? Uh, it's just when you, it's one of those things like when you get together, you just, you feel it. And it, it, it like, you know, your, your voice drops an octave. Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about this is a sexual connection. That's, that's the first thing. Um, it is, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking, there, there is a, and it's not like tension, it's not like lust, it is the two of you, like, you're physically drawn to each other. Uh, the other thing that's important here is this Minotaur's tail, and the tail is made out of wheat, and I'm just talking this out for a second, because I don't, I don't know what this means to me, uh, but the, the wheat is important, and it's just, it's being, um, cut like a it's thrashing like a harvest it's being um, pulled up and moved uh, the in order for the the relationship to move forward uh, you need to start <laughs> you need to start finding out more about this person you need to start um, You need to get past the sexual thing and find out more about who they are, what they're interested in, what they do, what it is they want to accomplish, what are their goals in life, where are they going, um, how are they trying to move their lives forward so that you can decide if your goals align, are, which will help you decide if the relationship is going anywhere or if you want it to go anywhere so that you can make a decision about where it needs to go. Yeah. Hey, LLR. Awesome. Cool. Thanks for your question. That's a, that's an interesting, you're in an interesting place. It's an awesome place to be in. How is everyone? Thanks for being here. If you haven't followed me yet, please follow me. Make sure you follow me so you can catch these live. 
so you can catch these live. I'd also love to, because I normally get on on Fridays, sometimes I get on on Tuesdays, but uh, at least you can catch me live so you can catch uh, getting either a free reading or a 10 minute reading for $10. If you go to PayPal, dot me slash coming out tarot slash 10 drop ten dollars in that kitty and i will jump you to the front of the free line uh, you'll get two cards pulled to answer your question about roughly 10 minutes spent on your answer if you're interested in hanging out for a free option so you can see what that's like there's the link right there everybody uh, thanks celestial if you're uh, wondering what the what it's like to get a reading and you want to see the free option, I just did that, uh, but you'll get a chance to see one again with the lottery system in just a second. Basically what will happen is I'll pull a card from the deck and then you'll get a chance to guess the card by guessing a number from 0 to 21. And whoever guesses the number that I pull, of the card that I pull, uh, after I say go, will get the free one card reading. But if you want to skip that whole chance thing and you need your question answered today, you need it tonight, then uh, use the paypal.me slash comingattarot.com slash 10. Drop that uh, in your browser, throw $10 in the kitty, and I'll answer your question with a two-card, roughly 10-minute reading. The kinds of readings that I like to do where I excel in helping people with tarot is confirming where you are today and giving you the steps to get to where you want to be tomorrow. So I am I'm naturally a project manager. I love to help people implement change. I love to see you take your next step. That's my favorite place to be. And the way that I love to use tarot is exactly that. I love to help you have that moment of transformation. I love to help you have a transformative experience because if you're coming to me to ask a question that you really don't want to change your life for, then what's the point? You know, if, if you're coming to a tarot reader to ask a question, hey Vivian, uh, it is at a point of soon to be transformation and that's why I want to give you, I want to give you that change, that transformation and I want you to implement it so that your life is forever different going forward. How are you Vivian? Have a new one. That's the way I love to work with tarot and that's the way I love to work with you guys with tarot. So I, I don't want it to be a passive experience. I want you to come to me as a tarot reader for a transformative experience. How are you, Francie? Cool. Uh, so first, before I jump into the lottery system, if anybody's like really itching to get their question answered, uh, the link is paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10. Sure, hang out, Maddie. Uh, there's two different ways. If you if you want a reading, um, and actually I don't do generals. I get, I'll get more specific with you. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Sasha. See you later. If you use the paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10, I'll see a donation come through for $10. I'll pull two cards for you and spend about 10 minutes on your question. Uh, or you can hang out for the lottery system, there's the link. You can hang out for the lottery system and I will do a one card free reading for the person who wins the lottery system. Hey Candace, but if you just need that reading tonight and you wanna skip the chance that you might miss it, uh, then all you gotta do is go to that paypal.me slash comingattarot.com slash 10, drop $10 in the kitty and I'll pull two cards and spend about 10 minutes on your question. Is anybody new who hasn't been here before? Welcome back, Cindy. Uh, if you want to do the lottery, just hang out and uh, the lottery system will be, uh, I'll pull a card and you guess a number from zero to 21 and whoever guesses that number first gets the gets the free one card reading but I'll do that in just a second if you want to skip the lottery and get your two card 10 minute reading in then all you got to do is go to paypal.me do it in your browser don't use the PayPal app it doesn't work go to your browser do paypal.me slash coming out tarot all one word slash 10 drop that ten dollars in the kitty and I'll pull two cards for you hey Marvin the 
two card option, which works really great on here because I, I don't spend a lot of time uh, on the reading. I mean, 10 minutes is a long time. But uh, what happens is in a one card reading, you'll get kind of some thanks. You'll get, you'll get a bit of insight into what's going on, maybe some action. With a two card reading, you'll probably figure out what's in your way, you'll figure out what you can do next to move forward, and there may be um, some relationship stuff that comes out if you're asking about a relationship. We can look at uh, the personalities between a relationship, or we can look at um, what could be holding you back in your relationship, what could be moving you forward in your relationship. Uh, so two cards can get you a lot more information. While it's not like a ton of depth, it's definitely more depth. But that one card free lottery system, there, there's always some good information in those one cards. Uh, in some other scopes I see one card will get you like, oh, it looks like you're you know feeling like you're on the right path, where I'll give you s some more information than that. I. <laughs> I don't, hey Sun Crush, I don't like to just sit on, uh, you're on the right path. I let you make that decision. I'll give you insight about the path that you're on so you can decide, yes, I'm going the right way, or no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> because I don't think you should put your, right? I don't think you should put your, your life in the hands of cardboard. I want to give you the insight so that you can manage your life in a way that is transformative for you. The, the power is in you, the power is in me, the power is not in the car, the power is in you. And I want to give you the insight to make that spark happen so that you can be successful. Thanks, Marvin. All right, uh, let's do another lottery system. Oh man, no one likes cold food. Hey, Collins. Okay, so here's how the lottery system works. I'm gonna pull a card. Hi, loser. And when I say go, y'all are going to guess a number between 0 and 21. And whoever guesses the number first gets the one card free reading. If you want to skip the one card free reading and get your reading today, use that link you just saw Celestial throw at paypal.me slash coming at tarot slash 10. And uh, I will jump you to the front of the line and we'll do a two card 10 minute reading. So, okay, lottery system. I'm gonna pull a card. And after I say go, after I say go, everybody ready? Mm -mm. Okay, and go. Whoever guesses the number first gets the one card free reading. Hey, Panchita. I probably butchered that, I'm sorry. Hey, Joey. Keep going, nobody got it yet. I feel like this is gonna be another long one. Hey Rachel Ellis. Vivian! Vivian got it. The devil. I see you, Lula. Um, so we're gonna do a quick reading for Vivian and then Lula's gonna get a two card reading. Hey, that girl. Hey, Leandro. Hey, Pensita Vronia. Hey, Periscoper. Okay, Vivian, let's do your, uh, what's your question? And then uh, we're gonna do a two card reading for, for Lou. change? Can you change what? Hey, I got nine lives.
Can you change your bad habits? Is there one in particular that you'd like to change? Hey, Maddie. Uh, yep, Vivian got the lottery. So you'd like to uh, change your willpower, your habit around willpower. So I'm assuming you would like greater willpower. Okay. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work, Vivian. Hi, Dana. Uh, the card that I've drawn for you is the Four of Cups. Uh, it's, it's actually going to take a, a lot of work to do that. Uh, interesting that clove oil might be able to help you, but uh, what I would recommend is uh, you, need, you need some specific steps for yourself. Uh, one of those steps being uh, something around emotional healing. Uh, if you have a therapist or if you're meditative, uh, something that can help you manage your emotional state is going to help you move into a space of being able to control your willpower in a way that you'd like. So uh, it's, that's just the beginning. You need to give yourself additional steps. So in order to be successful in uh, in uh, managing your willpower, then meditation may be a great way to start that. If you don't already have a therapist who can help you work through it, uh, uh, because that's one step you can take. Yeah, that's one step you can take to, to do in small chunks, because meditation starts in small increments, right? You start with maybe five minutes or 10 minutes, then you work way up to 15, then you work way up to 20, uh, and you start to learn how to manage what it is to be present and mindful during your meditation. Or <coughs> you can meditate on what it means to have stronger willpower. <coughs> so uh, meditation may be a great tool for you, Therapy may be a great tool for you. Whatever it is that you can work on, um, uh, I, I do think there's an, there's an effort of emotional healing in this, which is why I mentioned the therapist, hey Gabby, uh, to help you work through what may be coming up as you're trying to work through what it means to have more willpower. I think there's, gonna, there's an emotional connection to this that needs to be addressed, and it needs to be addressed at the same time you're trying to learn how to manage and strengthen your willpower so that you can move past whatever that emotional block is. And I do think there is an emotional block that is keeping you from having, um, having stronger willpower. You're welcome, thank you. Okay, Lou, which um, your, your name came through to me as Lou, I think. See if it shows me. No, I can't see. Thank, thank you. Uh, LLR Cindy, did you donate? Are you the Lou that donated? Great. Thank you. What is your question? And I'll pull two cards and spend uh, just about 10 minutes on your question. It is not too late, Gabby. If you go to that paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10, uh, drop $10 in there, and I will uh, do your reading next. Hey, Shock Pop. There's the link right there. Thanks, Celestial. So I'm just waiting for uh, Lou's question. How can I increase business sales? All right. Well, let's take a look at what's holding you back from uh, increased business sales and what can move you forward. How does that sound? So like what's in your way and, and how can you, what's your next step, right? Perfect. 
Perfect. Okay. What's your business, Lou? Is Lou is Lou your name? Am I? Thank you for answering to that. I just I want to make sure I'm addressing you correctly. Cindy. Thanks, Cindy. I like how you spell your name. Hey, Pithy Advice. Oh, I still don't know what that is. Manufacturing online sales, got it. Thanks, Gabby. Uh, okay, Cindy, so the card that I've drawn for what's what's holding you back, this is the Ace of Swords. <coughs> you can see that there's this eagle-like figure, he's uh, really tied up, bound. I say he, uh, I don't know why I'm assigning a gender to this thing, um, but uh, it, it is very bound, but what's important to me is actually... Um, this open space and the um, behind the card. This open space and the fire in his belly. Uh, what's what's unique to me is that um, I feel like what's holding you back is you you you're, you certainly have a passion for this business. I think you're so in your head about it that you're missing out on everybody having the opportunity to know why this is so important to you. I think you're you're leaving bare so much opportunity where you could be sharing so much of what's important to you about why you do this. Uh, you've you've pr probably gotten a little too tied up in what it means to run the business and focus on the business and think about the business and what do I need to do in order for this business to work that you for you forgot the like this is why I'm doing it in the first place and if you can share that. Uh, and I'm going to get to more of this when I get to the next card. Uh, it's going to change the way your sales happen. It's going to increase your sale. It's going to cause people to ask more questions and get more involved. They're just not seeing who you are. What they're seeing is someone who's <coughs> uh, starting a business and who's starting to talk to them, but they're not seeing who you are and what's important and why it's important to you. Uh, are you sharing why you're running this business or are you just talking about what you have? Yeah? Because uh, people, people, people don't know you, right? They don't, they don't know who you are or why you're doing it. Why did you stop? Um, yeah, they want to know that it, you're not just in it for the money, that you're doing it to help help them um, but they also want to know they're doing it you're doing it to help them because you know who they are like you in your heart of hearts in your gut you know these people and there's a reason that you're doing this right it just felt redundant no uh, it's gonna feel redundant to you because you do it over and over again it's gonna feel awesome to them because new people are hearing you all the time uh, tell your story connect with them because if you, if you tell your story and connect with them, it's going to change the way they view not only you, but the product itself. So right now, you're so stuck in, the, in, 
the business and in the reflection and in the review and in getting getting started, getting started, getting started, trying something new, right? It's just that that fire's going out. Uh, so what's occurring is, so here's the fire part that's important to me, but all this open space over here, see where, how the trees kind of look dead? There's just, it looks like this, to me it reminds me of a snowy landscape, so it's like wintry where everything's just cold, frigid, um, uh, nothing's growing, nothing's blooming, which is the sales thing, right? The sales aren't coming, no one's investing, no one's connecting with you, uh, there aren't any trees on the, or birds on those branches, no one's coming to hang out and stay with you. Uh, it's just this big barren space and it's because that that fire for whatever this is, is not being shared. Okay, so that's number one. That's what's holding you back. You're gonna to need to get past that. So let's talk about how to get past that. Uh, the card that can, hey Apollo, that can move you forward is the Knight of Cups. Hey brown skinned. Your card? Uh, yeah, so two things about this card. Um, one, sometimes court cards stand out to me as people. In this instance, it stands out to me as the presence of a person, which I, I would liken to uh, the story that you have to tell. Do, uh, do you have a, a, like a, do you have a son? Daughter. Okay. Uh, so, the child. Interesting. I, I never assign gender to these, so I don't know why this feels male to me. Um, so when I when I say that and why I said son, is the energy of the card to me feels what we might traditionally think of as masculine. It feels active. It feels uh, very move like driving and moving and and getting stuff done. Um, so if your daughter is that driving, moving, crazy ball of energy force that helps you um, be able to talk about why you started this business, then then that's part of why this card is here. Uh, is is she, is she that for you? And is she does she have that kind of no? Does she have that kind of ball of of energiness? Not like crazy Spitfire, but you know, she's like someone who is like... Oh, okay, so it's not, it's not like that. It's not like she's meant to help. Um, she's the, it's like she's the reason. Hey, Cherry. Nope, not like that at all. It's like she's the reason. There, there, yep. Yeah, motivated is a great word. She's the motivation. Um, to, oh, okay, maybe this is the, maybe this is why I'm picking up on the, the masculine energy too, is her son. Because there's, there's definitely this, this child energy the reason is children. There's a masculine energy there. Uh, we just need to get to where it might be. Uh, so that that's all related to this and related to telling your story and and sharing to other people, hey, I'm here because my daughter and her son are trying to get home. And I, I'm don't use my words because that sounds really, I don't, it probably sounds sappy, but uh, tell your story. This is why I'm doing this. They're trying to get home and we're working together to make this happen. Uh, what is extremely important in being able to move forward is not only being able to tell that story about your daughter and about your grandson, uh, but 
appealing emotionally in a way that is active to other people is going to move your business forward. You need to p appeal to their emotions. If you're not appealing to their emotions based on who you are and what you're trying to achieve, then it's never going to, you're never going to move past the slump in sales or the not sales that you're having today. Do you have any do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Uh yeah, if that's what that means to you, yes. Uh, primarily you've got you've got to start telling your story from your heart, from your gut. Yes, people need to know. They need to know. You need to be uh, you need to be the home shopping network on steroids, but about your story. Because no one buys stuff just to buy stuff. They buy stuff because it's going to either change their lives or they're going to see the change in your life by helping you. If, if they buy something and they know that's going to bring your grandson home, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. People want to know you. They, they want to buy from someone they know. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Br thanks, Brenskin. Hey, Blaine. I blame Summers. How's it going? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Thank you for the donation. I really appreciate it. I'm glad it was helpful. Uh, it is a Spanish wine. Thanks, Bonnie. Okay. Gabby, are you Gabby or Gabrielle? Hey, Misa. Yes, Gabby. All right, Gabby. What's your question? So for folks that are just joining, if you haven't been here before, um, Gabby and the last reading I just did, they donated $10 through paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10. And I am going to pull two cards for Gabby and answer her question. If you're interested in doing that, then you can follow the same process and I'll tell you how to get a free reading in just a second. Anything I need to know, but it has been, thank you. There's the link right there, Celestia threw it up. So if you want to have a reading right after Gabby, use that link, paypal.me slash coming out tarot slash 10. I would like to know about my friend of the past contacting me recently and the purpose behind it. Ooh, interesting. So, what's the best way to do this? His name is CJ. Okay, so how about we pull a card? Oh, so we're pulling two. Uh, so for CJ and you, what's the... Um, I'll pull a card for just the, the background of the relationship, just to give me a little idea of what's gone on. Uh, and then I'll pull another card for the outcome of the, the reconnect. Okay. Relationship with CJ. Okay.
Excuse me. Okay, Gabby. So the card I pulled for the background, just to get an idea of, of where, where the two of you have been. So I have an understanding of what the past was before we find out what's going on in the present. Is the Two of Cups. Uh, to me, this this tells me that the two of you had a pretty significant relationship in the past. Uh, I think you were you were important to each other. I think you were um, young. I think you were playful. Uh, it, it was it was a fun it was a fun romance, right? It was um, it had moments of contention. Uh, but I, th I think the two of you were, were just, were just young. Uh, and, and things just didn't really work out the way you wanted them to. Like you kind of realized more about who each other wa were. Yeah. It's, as I'm looking at this, like the horses, the, well, the horses, the unicorns, they were, they were incredibly playful. And then their faces just kind of turned angry. Like they just and the clouds came in and things were not comfortable anymore. It's like, oh crap, we're just we were wrong to be together. This wasn't the way things were meant to be. Um, we really liked each other, and then things just that's just it was just not right. Um, the problem is, is that you guys, it looks like in the past you guys weren't meant to be in a relationship, but you were meant to be good friends. Like you were meant to get along, you were meant to be around each other, because you're you're kind of like two peas in a pod. Yeah. Uh, you you just kind of you kind of get each other. Thanks, Nomad. And that's that's hard to let go of because when we when we find people that we just resonate with that either that soulmate or that twin flame type of thing, whatever those mean to you, um, it's hard to let those go because they're, they're people that we just, we resonate with. We just get, we understand and they understand us and it feels so good to be understood and, and not have to explain it all, everything about ourselves, right? We just can be and you can let everything else go. So, uh, the, the only rough spot in the, in the, relationship besides what you already mentioned is that uh, you just you weren't meant to be in a relationship together uh, and you were young you were young so choices were made yep I hundred percent that's exactly yeah we're on the same page uh, okay so then the outcome of CJ contacting you today. The outcome of CJ contacting you today is the hermit. Hey Rodrigo. Um, the outcome of him contacting you, I think, is I think it's extremely, extremely overwhelming. I think it is, it is like literally emotionally overwhelming. It is taking over uh, it, because he has that strong of a connection with you. Hi, uh, Mekon. It is challenging to not let it take over your life. It is uh, challenging to not have it be a part of every um, waking moment where you're thinking about it and thinking about it and trying to figure it out, understand it, know what's going on. Um, the, so really, I mean, the outcome of it is that you're, you're constantly going to be in the space of wonder, um, until you actually do something about it. Um, I think what, what you're not aware of is yeah, that, exactly. That's and this it's going to be that way until you do something about it. I think what you're not aware of is how do I describe this? Uh, 
is contacting him, like taking action and contacting him and saying, listen, this is who I am today. This is what's happened uh, since you've been gone. And this, this is what I need. If you're contacting me to be a part of my life again, romantically or not, I need to know if you can meet these needs or if you're, or if you're here for some other reason. So uh, there is a, a forcefulness in the state you need to be in today. There is a, uh, and, and, and you're, you're not focused on that right now. You're so focused on the, ah, that you're not thinking about the next action you need to take. And I think that if you start to think about how you can approach him to get what you need, uh, you'll be in a much better position to feel like what you to feel like you know what you need to do next. Hey, party play. Well, thank you. Hey, Blue Eyed Harley. Haven't seen you in a while. Right. Okay. So. Uh, as I look at these two things together, you're in, you're actually in a much stronger place yourself than you were in the past. You know more about yourself. You're just allowing yourself to get swept up in all of this emotion instead of trusting, knowing who you are and what you want, <coughs> and then going to him and saying, this is who I am. This is where I am today. What'd you call me for? Because if you called me for something other than what I need, th here's the boundary, and that's all I can take. Uh, so you're gonna have to control this yourself, and it's gonna be hard. Yeah? Okay. Good, I'm glad. I mean, I'm not glad you're getting goosebumps. I'm, I'm glad you're hearing what you needed to hear. Uh, it's it's going to be a very much a balancing act for you. It's going to be um, it's going to be really hard because I don't think you've been through this before in this way. Hey, Kaiser, I don't think that you've had this experience before, and it's going to feel like you're fumbling the whole time. That's okay. You got to get through it. Hey, Frito. Uh, you're you're going from what was once a very immature place to knowing who you are and having a very mature conversation with someone that may not be ready for it because that hasn't been the way you two communicated before. So it's, it's going to feel weird. It's going to feel awkward and you're going to want, you're going to be like, ah, I'm not, it's going to be nerve wracking and scary, but it's got to happen. Good to go, Gabby. You're welcome, thank you. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna do uh, one more lottery system, which is a one card free reading, and then I gotta go eat. Thank you so much, thank you. No problem. If you guys aren't following, make sure you're following me so you can catch me when I'm on live. I do, uh, I did, it was last week, thank you. Uh, I will be back on on Friday to do more readings just like this, the $10 option or the free one card reading. Uh, but I'm going to do one card, one more uh, lottery system free reading, and then I'm going to go uh, eat. I just made a bunch of my cards go backwards, which was weird. 
So uh, if you're not already following me, make sure you follow me so you can catch me the next time I'm live. I also jump on at 7 o'clock in the morning central time and do a uh, tarot intention of the day, which is a way for you to approach your day with thoughtfulness, mindfulness, and awareness so that you're not moving through your day hoping things are going to turn out the way you want. You actually can take some action and move the outcome of those events in the direction you wish it to go. So uh, you should check out the tarot intention of the day. The broadcast is up there in my replays right now. You can also catch it on other channels. Great, thank you. Uh, and other channels like uh, YouTube or Facebook at the same handle coming out tarot. So one more free reading before I go uh, take care of dinner. Uh, I'm going to pull a card out of this deck and the person who guesses the number after I say go, the person who guesses the number um, between 0 and 21 will get a one card free reading. Okay, are we ready? Go! I'm just making up a song. I have no idea what that song is. <laughs> I'm really enjoying using this Mary Tarot deck. It's, um, the imagery is just beautiful in it. Naturally choosing eight. The eighth was my birthday. Alex. <coughs> Still nobody yet. There it is. Bonnie. Bonnie B. It is a deep number. It was the magician. Okay, Bonnie. What's your question? Hey, thanks for showing. <laughs> Thanks, see you later. Thanks, Celestial, for all your help. I appreciate it. So I don't do generals, Bonnie. What's your um, what's the top of your mind today? Yeah, I don't like to do generals. I want I want tarot to be a an experience for you. Um, is your son gonna get a job soon? Well, let's see what your son can do to take a step to getting a job. Let's see what kind of action uh, can be taken. Now, here's the challenge. <clears throat> your son isn't here. Is your son with you? What's your son's name? Travis. Okay.
Uh, so the card that I pulled for Travis, uh, like a step that he can take to start uh, hopefully finding a job, is the star. And when I see the star, it means a couple different things. Uh, one, he's going to have to look for something that uh, really fits who he is in his personality. Some people can mold into any kind of job that suits them. He's going to have to be in a job that actually uh, fits who he is and what his skills and talents are. He's, he's not able to mold into other new things very well. Um, the other thing that I would suggest is that he might start looking at um, something where and I don't know which side of this it's on, something where teaching is involved, either where he can get education while he's on the job or can actually be teaching, but teaching is involved in some way. So uh, one, teaching is involved, and two, he's gonna have to find something that really resonates with his skill, talent, and ability uh, because he's not able to morph into uh, what somebody might need from an intern, for example, right? Where an intern will go do multiple things in an office he needs to actually do what he's good at. He, he's not gonna be able to pick up and do multiple things. So in his effort to find a job, uh, if he f he's a, a tutor, great, his tutoring is gonna be the end to what's gonna get him a job. And I'm assuming you mean tutor like T-U-T-O-R, uh, so he's tutoring other people. He tutoring, he's so he's teaching other people, like one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Yeah, okay, great. So um, he can turn that, he can turn that into a business. If he's not able to get in with a company or with a consultancy service or with a tutoring business, he can turn that into his own. So I would, if he's already naturally doing that, <laughs> if he's already naturally doing that, then I would encourage you to talk to him about how, the avenues that he can take tutoring in order to um, be a job that is actually financially profitable. So I would encourage him to keep doing that because the star for me is always about teachers. Um, it's always about being in your natural, natural state of what you do best. And teachers are born to teach. And if that's what he's meant to do, that's what he should be doing. Uh, he just may not be able to do it with um, without a certain kind of license or accreditation. So he might need to find other avenues in which to do that, which may, might mean uh, having his own business for a while. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having a good time. Thanks for letting me do some readings for you. This was a blast. I really appreciate it. If you uh, are enjoying these, then please follow me so you can catch me live the next time I do it, which will be Friday. Uh, and follow me so you can catch the tarot intention of the day. Cool, that's where he needs to be. He needs to focus in that space. If he focuses in there intently, that's where the job's gonna come from. So thanks everybody. I hope you have a great Monday and I will see you either in the mornings around seven central for the terror intention of the day or on Friday evening. Thanks everybody.